Hey guys, I'm kind of tired of seeing Skull Flame Shields listed on the auction house for 2K gold, so I'm gonna make this video. Uh, Skull Flame Shield, uh, short answer is it's not a very good shield at all. Um, the reason why I will show in this video, uh, so definitely watch it. Uh, this is like one of the only videos that I would actually encourage you to share with friends and whatnot because there's a lot of people that are going to waste gold on this shield not knowing that it's not very good because so many people have been um, saying it's such a good piece for paladins and it's really needed to uh, AoE farm or help boost people in dungeons and this video is going to show exactly why I don't think it's good at all. So the short answer is mitigation. As a tank and especially as a paladin uh, you're focusing on mitigation in the form of blocks. Not only blocks but you also get parries and dodges as well and then misses can happen on lower level uh, targets when they, they miss to hit you. Now as you can see from the footage in the background I'm hardly ever getting hit. It's almost always dodge blocks and parries. Now you'll say uh, this is only on low level care or low level mobs attacking you but I will show you uh, other footage um, from other levels to, to prove this as well so just keep watching. Uh, however this means that the chance on hit from Skull Flame Shield almost never procs. It's already a very, very low proc rate, but you have to understand that that's on a hit. So as you can see, there's hardly ever a time that I'm actually getting hit. Now, if I turn my back to the mobs, then they start to hit me, but this kind of defeats the whole purpose of being a Paladin tank and using that mitigation to your advantage. So this shield in short terms is not very good your best option is to get the spore guard shield at level 62 you have to be honored with spore guard. however this shield uh, works every single time you block an attack so that is going to be the majority of your attacks will be blocks so as you can see i overlaid footage of myself being attacked with skull flame shield and now i'm going to show you what it looks like with the Sporgar shield. Now the Sporgar shield is essentially free. You need to get your rep up with Sporgar to honored and then all you have to do is buy this the shield with glow caps which are of currency used for Spor Sporgar and it's very easy to get this. Not only does the Sporgar shield have better mitigation in terms of armor but also the proc. Uh, it's not a chance on hit it's just every time you block you poison the enemy and this poison can stack up to five times and the great thing about paladins is you have holy shield which is just increasing your block chance you have readout which is uh, also ex um, increasing your block chance so there's a lot of things that you use as a paladin including gear that inc increases your chance to block so you're actually blocking quite a lot and so this shield is 10 times better than skull flame shield i mean it's so much better that i wouldn't even pick up a skull flame shield off the auction house if there was one for maybe 200 gold like it used to be they're just not a good shield um they are good right now in the game but the way it stands uh I would not be using Skull Flame Shield. Now, you might say the block chance, you, you have a less chance to block as you get high, higher into level. So if you're killing things that are level 70, you're, they're not gonna, or you're not going to block as often. And that is true. However, at level 70, you shouldn't be using this shield against level 70 mobs anyways, because even if you get that 3% or 1% um, chance on hit, uh, it's such minimal damage at that level that it doesn't matter. So I'll show footage of m myself doing this all the way up until uh, level 55 mobs in Strathholm, and it's still much better to use uh, the Sporgar shield. So I don't know uh, when this kind of idea of uh, Skull Flame shield being so good was going around. I think it's probably because WoW Hobbs used to use it back in the day, and uh, a lot of people just haven't looked into it too much I guess but it's not a good shield like uh, the one thing that can prove that the most is just the fact that even comments in uh, Wowhead database uh, from back in the day when people had this shield uh, they will say that the spore guard shield is better if you go look in the spore guard shield comments people will say you know I have the skull flame shield and the spore guard shield is much better for this and we know how little people theory crafted um, back in the day compared to nowadays so if that was a consensus back then then it definitely should be the consensus consensus now so 
hopefully that helps you to make sure you don't go out and make a huge costly mistake of buying a very, very expensive shield that in the end of the day is not going to help you when it comes to AOE farming. So if you do have one of these shields, I would try to sell it uh, because I think now is the best time to try and get some gold for it if you know there's some people out there that still don't have the full information. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer that there's going to be people that have wasted so much gold on this shield, uh, but that is, you know, classic WoW for you sometimes. Things like that happened. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other items in the game that players will use for uh, passive damage, so thorns-like abilities. So there's the Naggle Ring, which I think is three damage anytime you get struck in combat. Uh, there's some gloves, there's some shoulder pads. Uh, there's, you know, different items out there that have these chance on hit to do just X amount of damage. Now, when you're not dodging, parrying, or blocking a lot, those items are actually pretty good. You know, if you have a huge amount of mobs on you, that little bit of damage over time is going to add up. However, like I've stated, with a paladin and at level 70, just how much mitigation you have against lower level mobs these items are also not going to be very valuable to you. Your best chance is, or your best bet is to get things that have a lot of um, block and a lot of uh, just mitigation in general on them. Now, there's also uh, another reason for this too, because the more uh, dodge, block, you know, parry, miss, all that stuff that you can uh, accumulate, that's also less damage you're going to be take taking the more the larger pulls you can make and also there's several trinkets out there that uh, help you so the the colossal trinket which i will put on or colossus trinket i'll put on the screen right now this trinket is really really good if you are in any kind of danger as a paladin when you are doing aoe farming uh, if you pop this you're basically going to go back to 100 percent health and i'll show you some clips of that right here so obviously this trinket is very, very strong. Uh, it really can help out with a lot of things and it's not on a very long uh, cooldown, so it can be used quite often. Now, this trinket is only strong because you're getting a lot of blocks and you also have the Holy Shield, which is helping out with that a lot as well. So that's why in general, Skullflame Shield is not good because of mitigation. Okay, so wrapping things up guys, this should be the takeaway of the video. Skullflame Shield, not worth the hype. It's all right at level 60, but it's going to fall off big time once you get to level 70 as a paladin. Now, the other thing that you need to take away from this video is in general, chance on hit um, items are a no-go. You just want to stack as much mitigation and block chance as you can. It's going to help you out a lot when it comes to uh, AOE farming and also helping out with boosting. So hopefully you guys are ready for the pre-patch and you can level up your paladins and get ready for a new type of dungeon boosting when it comes to classic WoW.